Hi fun guys and girls, so welcome to another episode of Money Minutes. This time I'm here in Berlin, it's winter and it's blistering cold, but today we're going to deal with the 15 most common mistakes screenwriters um, make. Number 15. Struggling to come up with memorable character names. I solved this problem, I put a link in here. I go to the social security side of the United States. There every popular name is listed according to its year of birth. So if you know when your character is born, if this character is male or female, just go to this um, year and look up the name. If it's a popular name, choose one of the top five. And if it's a middle ground name, you know, just choose somewhere in the middle ground. And if it's not a very popular name, just choose one down below the list. So go to the site and everything is fine. Number 14, stopping at the 10 page script mark. Really man, I had this too, because when I was like 20 and I wrote my uh, first novels, I could only write 30 or 40 pages and then I would stop and I wouldn't know how to continue. But it's just bad structuring and bad preparing. So write a short essay, maybe um, for three or four pages, free associate um, in this essay what comes to your mind when you think of your ending. If you have an ending, just go to your start, write again a few pages of what could be a possible start. Again, free associate, I don't care about grammar or punctuation, just write and get the idea done. If you have your start, go to plot point one and then the plot point two and the midpoint and do the same. There you go, you have your structure and you can start writing your movies. Super. Number 13, realizing that you write a movie that has already been done. So again, do a lot of research. Sometimes um, it's easier um, if you ask friends. Use your themes. Do you know your themes? Because um, themes are like basic chords. If you know your themes in life, Paul McCartney and John Lennon of the Beatles also had just a few chords. And they used those chords to produce new songs which are still relevant today. And new music comes out every day. Unless if you're under 30. Um, yeah, so use those themes. I put a link up here. Maybe mix one or two of your themes so that you have a new perspective on those things and that you create a new take on this um, on this movie. You're rewriting one of your favorite movies it's because your perspective matters. How you treat um, those plots that have been told for years, like the chords to be displayed. Number twelve, wanting to skip the descriptive parts. I know this, it's very boring. So don't write too much, just write two or three sentences if it comes to the description of a scene and just use the words you really want. What do you want to convey with these words? Atmosphere, tone, character, voice, something else. So make up your mind and use those two or three sentences wisely and just write two or three sentences. This will be fine. Realizing that your movie is already a thing. So again, do some research and tackle your themes we are who are really important. So that's been it uh, for today. Thank you very much. It's been blistering cold. This is the second take because the last episode wouldn't work. I cut my hands on a beefy and I have a little friend here who helped me. Thank you, Flori. Flori, you can say something. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Want to wait into the camera? Bye. See you guys next week. Bye.